Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Food Traveler in the IE. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out my video. Hopefully I can entertain you guys and we can have some fun while watching some delicious food. Please, if you like the video, click the like button, hit the bell notification so you can see f future videos. I just thank you again for watching and let's check out some food and see what we have. So I was really surprised about the food menu. Everything looks so good as far as their pictures. If it looks at least half as good as the pictures, I know I'm going to be pleasantly surprised and full. So let's see what they got. Hi guys, it's Christopher with Food Traveler in the IE. So we're at another spot today. Uh, this is in the city of Paris, California, right off of Paris Boulevard. Um, honest with you, it's very heavy. So it's a wet burrito. So let's take a look and see how this thing looks. I can't wait, I'm so excited. It's heavy. I don't know if you guys can really see the actual size of this burrito, but there's my hand next to it. It's ginormous, it's so heavy. Uh, it has two different sauces on it. It's a wet burrito, so you got your green sauce, your red sauce, and your cheese. Uh, a little bit of lettuce and tomato on the side. So let's cut this open and see what it looks like. Okay, so I just cut it open. This is a steak burrito or carne asada. It has rice, beans, onion, cilantro. Boy, that sure looks delicious. Hey, they also gave me a nice bag of the carrots and the onion. They also gave me two additional sauces, same as the one that's on the burrito. So if I want to add extra, there you go. If this meat was cooked on a, on a grill, you know, cook it like, it, like you're at a barbecue, that kind of carne asada. Man, this would be totally amazing. But we're in a restaurant. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely huge. Old jalapenos. I love those. Some carrots. And we have some of the onion. Hey. Drop my food. Silly me. So I got a nice bite with the beans and the rice and the steak. Really good. Let's try it with the pepper. I prefer the green sauce. For some reason between red and green sauce, I usually always pick the green sauce anyways. I just think it has more flavor where the red usually has more heat. But I guess it just depends on what kind of chilies they're using. But I go with the green sauce. But to have a, a half of each on a burrito is nice too because then you don't have a, a boring flavor taste for the whole burrito. You eat half of it, that flavor, and you get a whole second new burrito with a different sauce on it. <laughs> So one thing about COVID-19 is it's closed down a lot of restaurants inside. Being in, a, in an empire, I'm in the shade, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening and it still feels like 90 degrees. You can see on my shirt I'm still sweating because it's so hot out here. There's, there's really no breeze. Um, and I just want to apologize to all my YouTubers out there that are watching these videos. I just started my channel just a couple weeks ago. So I was really still learning how to edit and uh, do the volume. I finally purchased a microphone, so hopefully we won't have any loud parts and then you can barely hear me. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna do all this on the microphone so it's nice and clear. Uh, you guys can hear everything and uh, hopefully when I publish the video, I'll like it as well. But thank you for your patience, you guys. Well, there you have it, another restaurant. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to say goodbye before I sweat to death on camera. So, 
please like the video. If you do like it, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. So when I come out with a lot more other cool videos, um, you'll be able to get notified. So thank you so much. I appreciate it, YouTubers. You guys have a blessed day.